What were you playing? So we could Percival round one. Uh, uh, this is just play. Whatever. Can't get anything. Try refreshing. How about? <laughs> yeah. Of yesterday's smurfing, that it is really easy to build a Gurney deck. Uh, so, we're probably not playing any dwarves anyway. We can just take the poison. Okay. They've still got two harmony units in play. Uh, machine. We don't really want to play tree. Could we get gnome again? So what? Uh, we could. Uh, I don't really want to foul free. Yeah. Oh, this deck doesn't even play company. Okay. So I only have Chariots and Figus to get my Monroe. Interesting. How do you play Monroe versus the Avalok? That is a good question. Hope that our opponent doesn't take their Avalok. that wins round one. Cool. Now, without any way to interact with Damien Skeleton, I guess we're pushing round two. Aren't all six? Should have checked that earlier. Oh, no treason, yeah. yeah. So we got his leader. I'd play the Monero to you. Okay, we got his Damien. That's what matters, right? So he still has Skellen that we can't answer, but... 
Meh. He can get his leader back in exchange for a card. Yep. That's alright. So we're back to even. Uh, this is Payable's list from the EGC finals. Way too many dwarves. It's a five. So I want this chariot. Nice. This is better against treason. First read dwarf proc. I have a token though. Pretty sure I'd rather get the transform than the potential point. So it's too small here. Ranger first is better than Swordmaster. Uh, Swordmaster lets me kill a skeleton potentially if he doesn't respect the yoink, but probably. Oh my god. Well, I'll take it. Side Bruver. Mm. Rand's a lot of points. Waters of Broccolon is a good card to play twice. So, what's the plan against this NR engine deck? I assume this is. How hard are we willing to commit? Just go, like, biggest Monroe. Save the waters. Do this first. Get the harmony proc. This is payable as you see lists. Tiers NR approximately. Uh, really depends where you want to draw the lines on the tiers. There's some really good scores set with the mid-range Kalenth deck. I think Alessio is like 25-80 within 40 games, 25-60 within 40 games, something crazy. So what, I'm missing Dryad right now? What are we facing? I have no idea. Oh hey, it is shoot. Yeah, 
Yeah, sure. Yep, if my elf dies, I would get to elf again. This matters a lot for, like, humans when you're playing Pavco and Hawker Smuggler. So you can play, like, your Pavco, get your human trigger on all your harmonies, then your opponent kills the Pavco because they want to turn the engine off, and then you can play a Hawker Smuggler. And you get to proc for humans again. We have to have Shoop to unlock the Faction Challenge. But, no. The Faction Challenge gives you a Shoop. Well, I guess we won on even. That was weird. Yeah, but they give you Shoop before you have to play Shoop Knight ten times. They give you a Shoop for the, the boost a unit a bunch of times, damage unit a bunch of times, or play X Specials quest. Um... Yeah, I mean, well, even, whatever. We should have a better short round. Our deck is pretty good. Still got Foul, Call, Oak. Eskel. No, I have more engines than he does. You get six points on every unit we play. Probably just two of them with the chariot. Trusting is high roll. It, even if we missed, it's not the end of the world is the point, right? If you do the same thing on any other unit, you're giving your opponent a Revenant target, but because you're doing it on the Revenant, it's kind of just fine. Um, huh. How does this matchup work? I guess Munro gets through. Whereas if I play like Waters, they're letting him just cash out bounty effects to make his execution good. So dirty. Yeah, it's a lot of provisions. Feels a little overcommittal, but. Eh. Um... Can we just chill? And I kind of like really hate playing Waters of Broccolon in round one. I'm 
Master First is better. Swordmaster doesn't do anything on this board. He's just got armor. I don't think we're ever getting through the defenders, are we? <laughs> I mean, I guess we have Skirmisher Panther. Keeps me in the round. Get his elwold. It's kind of nice. And turn up your audio. What? That's not a real problem. I look at my audio levels in OBS and it looks totally fine. Ugh. Turn up the volume. If I turn it up any more, I start clipping. hand is unfortunate. Straight yeah, I don't know what's going on with you. Man! Okay, whatever. He played his old already. He might still just be fine. He's portal. So we've got a Purify in our Falve. Helm is alright. Um, Poisoner's Cox Infection. Uh, I mean, I mailed, mailed one of them. I don't want the second Elf. Or like the second harmony and it's not bad. Oh. Well, that's good for us. Anymore. Uh, Barney's what? 12? Do I grade him now? Let's bow 
with slander is they're still professor. Um, let's just take the shield off. This might be coins out of him. I should have done this first. Okay, still worked. Okay, now with only one card left, he can't have poisons. This is triggering all our harmonies. Nice fill up here. Oh yeah, that too. Is it actually Philippa? <laughs> All right. Hey YouTube, quick intermission to plug my Patreon. We got a bunch of different tiers. We're up to 11 Patreons at the moment and growing. Patreon is your preferred method to support your favorite content creators. Be sure to check it out. You can find a link in the description below. Back to the Gwent. Uh, I don't think Ship got power crap. The versatility is worth something. He got nerfed a bit. The nerf was significant. Removing the resilience from night. The harmony mirror? Just like play junk, right? Oh, it's not the harmony mirror. I've been bamboozled. Ha. Huh. Crystal's a tie because it plays for two more points. Uh, yeah. So what our Barnabas ended up playing for ten, and we didn't have no removal for it to play for twelve. Yikes. This door's because he's Bruber. I guess. Oh no. Oh no. Yuck. It's like it's even close to enough. That's not good. So this is enough. This is five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Man, bamboozled by the chariot. Going in. 
Sand is so bad at going in. Chariots in a TLG list. I was unaware. Yikes. So we got his justices out of him. <laughs> he still has oak. Uh, the big problem here is we're not drawing to anything. Okay. Yeah, the overcommit to round one was just too much. Got poison. For Ida. And our guaranteed point per turn. So what I want to get my harmony procs. So we can just go uh, like Ranger into Willow. We can wait one turn and play the Swordmaster. Yeah, sure. Maybe we get a slightly better poison. So that's slightly better. Move this away first so he can't. Uh, boost that whole row. And let's just kill the Berserker that turn. Or the Rowdy that turn. Yep. Getting there? We win this, right? Oh my god. Go us. Playing his Munro to take as well was kind of nice, considering he could have played like any old bronze and it would have gotten there. Granted, I guess he didn't have very many more ways to enable the Rowdies, it was just the one chariot. Um... Yeah, exactly. He might not have had the machine in his hand, but it depends what his cards were. What was this hand doing? I don't think he had Gabor. 
He would have taken this Gabor. We can just go Figus Monroe and try to get him. We could also follow Waters first. That feels a little overcommittal. We could melee panther, we could... We just like commit poison. How bad is that? If we're gonna do that, we probably should have started at last chain. But, like, we expected to have a purify later. I, I think the item's bigger later. Keep threatening to win on even. Let's see what we can force out when we play the Ida. It'll give us our types for Barnabas. Yeah. At least it lets him out. Just pass. Not what's happening. I have no Dryad again. I mean, should I care about losing this round? I didn't really play any of my long round things. Didn't play any golds. I don't think I'm that worried about a bleed. Yeah, whatever. Let's we'll see what happens. Maybe the Idos never commit. Hey, dude. How's it going? Gotta do 13 and 2. Five damage. Sleep. I'm sorry. I had to play ST at some point this season, and I kind of like the Harmony deck. Have a good night, though. Okay, we definitely need to kick the Caress. Found the Percival. Oh, we still have water in the deck. Right. Swordmaster is our elf. This is our dwarf. This is our human. Um, this is 
like everything is point. Yeah, the sequencing is kind of cool. And the way you break up the rounds, I enjoy. It's the same reason I like Gurney. So we're just going to double waters, right? What does he do? We just have way more points than he does, I think. He actually wants to break rounds though. This deck does too sometimes. It's exactly the same. Uh, yeah, I mean you have the options. There's still you want certain round lengths and certain matchups. Yeah, like this is pretty silly when you get to save all your all your engines for round three. Oh, we shoop. That was not even on my radar. <laughs> get fucked. <laughs> nice shoop. Get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. Yeah, portal. I think it's a close one. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Oh boy, we're getting sniped. Good answer, Oriana. No, but Oriana's what, like 20 points? 25 points? Just deployed shoot once and pass both rounds. Yeah, he's probably just trying to do his uh his achievements. Or the faction challenge, or the shoop challenge, whatever you want to call it. We can water. The play this is all just on my hard drive. There's the text there if that helps you, but there's no like YouTube links. It's gonna hard drive in 2019. Well, a lot of it's from like 2008, 2009. I've just been slowly increasing my music collection over time. There's way more than like 2k songs on my hard drive. There's just 2k songs on the playlist. There's 1400 folders. I don't know if it'll tell me how many tracks total. I have to like make a... Oh, here we go. I do have a playlist with everything in it. 15,000. Stream, please. Well, there's a lot of it that I just don't listen to. A lot of stuff that I tried listening to and just wasn't a huge fan of. Yeah, I'm definitely pushing off grade. Uh... Yeah, this deck's good. It's one of the better Square Tail decks. Between like this and this, the uh, Dwarf deck and Probably the Gord deck is getting popular lately. Just about the biggest, right? Any 
your old Nightwish. I have all of Nightwish. There's a little of both on the playlist. Control deck or aggro? Uh, aggro is not really a term people use in Gwent. It's certainly not a control deck. Vampire's Blossom deck, good matchup versus this Harmony deck. I think Harmony's favorite in that matchup. I still play Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, not really, no. Stop hitting the glitters. Just create a crushing trap. It's a little tilting. Yeah, okay. Okay. There's a lot of cards that are worse than a 6 to deploy, though. Should we be getting Oak? I don't know what Quixic is. I do not understand what your question is. Classic mode. Classic mode is ranked. Hey, Kung Fu. Classic is the same thing as ranked, yeah. Just know the name for it. Fucking skeleton decks, man. Fucking skeleton decks. <laughs> Get vampires again. Maybe we just pass early. 
We're on blue. I'm not really getting anything out of this. Tunic deck's definitely one of the best decks. What happens here? Yeah, that didn't really help. Fuck, I need to go on tra people translate every time. Uh, just in my channel. I have, I've rolled my custom bot. Side degree paying off a little bit. I'm just going to take our hand is every gold in our deck except the Ida and the Barnabas, but we have Call. I guess we chill. Mm. Percival into. Vegas. Nothing's killing this, right? Waters first. Maybe. I think I want to waters after I have Defender up. I don't want to let him spread his bleeds out. Maybe that's silly. Just a little leaf late in the round. Yeah, but he played his Purify already. Um, what are we doing here? Hold up, this is so weird. We can... We can get out of this without using our waters at all, right? We can just, like... Poison this, Dragoon this. Dragoon this, poison this. He has no way to purify himself, right? Okay. Water's finish here. I mean, yeah, it's not even that bad. Still 8 points. Being able to save it for round 3 is kind of a big deal. Should have been ranged. That was silly. I mean, what? He could have like a Geralt or something for the Percival, and that'd be kind of annoying. But I mean, like. Yeah. Now we get to save double waters, if we even wanted double waters. But at least we'll have waters in round three than having to use our leader. We're missing Ida, but I mean, who cares? Gnome, beast, dwarf, machine, water, tree. I 
Don't igni me, please. That would suck. Maybe I should have respected that. So they can block the Gale boosting... Oh no, we can't boost Chariot's machine. Just kill the Vampire. Killing the Vampire doesn't even matter once Orianna is gone, right? It's the only card it matters for. Oh no. Another pirate SK, much later in the season. I'm on the wrong coin. Yeah, sure. I think he's still from the council. Yeah, I think he was hoping for something a little bit bigger. But even that, that commits another gold. Like, Assassination's bad on that board. Attorney Joust is bad on that board. This feels very overcommittal. Whatever. Try it with foul. Uh, yeah, okay. That makes sense. That plays like super deep into morals, but I should have at least considered it. I'm pretty sure I'm not tutoring for this as often as I should. Now that we've played the Defender, you kind of just want to pull out the Monroe. What are we doing? Such a bad commit. Hey, Jigsy, gifting the sub to Usubi. Thanks, Jigsy. Welcome, Usubi. Oh, so we got we got his Kalkstein in exchange for like fifty provisions, <laughs> and we got to win round one, which means we can push round two, which I guess means something. I don't know. Provisions don't matter, guys. It's it's fine. We'll figure it out. Exactly. Provisions are just a number. It's fine. Send the friendly. Oh, right. How did I forget? This looks like a real deck to you. Yeah, occasionally we do that. Occasionally. Usually, like, the first couple weeks of a season, we'll play, like, somewhat real decks. The problem is the real decks from this season are all the same real decks from last season. So I don't even get to have that illusion of playing... 
not established decks because nothing's established yet. Yeah, part of the appeal that went to me, at least, is how fast it changes. It just attracts a different crowd. Some people like their game to stay a little more stagnant. Hey, yes, we get out. That's fine. So either get out or play Barnabas into a live executioner, which seems not great. They're actively refusing to get CA. I stopped asking these questions ages ago. If you try to apply any kind of thought process to your opponent's plays at this MMR, you're you're not getting very far. You're just gonna confuse yourself. I just think Kevin. Well, sometimes you get to have three free coins. You get a better conversion on your coins than one point later on. If you don't need the second defender. Like, when you expect the Scarab to get it ignored, you might as well just not make the second one. Machine Gun Owl. Yeah, Owl's really good here. I'm gonna lose this game. I'm so sad. I guess I deserve it. We uh <laughs> We played like fifty provisions in round one. Yeah. here. I'm pretty sure we do. Yeah, but they always have it. I guess he doesn't have it, judging by how slow he's doing this. Maybe we're fine. Who knows? Okay, okay. Let's try more else. That would make sense. Last card, more else. I guess I'll take it. Uh, instead of <laughs> just like throwing all my points at him. Yeah, they make Raiden on Oak, they get a pretty crazy machine gun Owl. Feels like it should be bad, but I don't know. Maybe it's not. 
At the very least, it should be better than throwing 50 provisions at them in round one. Oh, it's an R. I didn't want to kick Skirmisher. Yeah, the poison hand just forces me into overcommitting. If I want to keep playing. Um, so when I don't have the second poison, just go Figus Munro. We're on red. Let's just do red coin things. Yeah, I have to... It was on, like, day one of the season. I remember being really tilted. The fuck? Couldn't you have just, like, killed a Rowdy? It's army unit down T. Run and play the machine. Mm, sure. What represent? Do we have the second poison? It's a good Palibor. Uh, what, this is a six? Seven? Yeah, people played the uh, Poison Hound. It's not super common, I've seen it once, but... I, uh, I had quite the reaction when I saw it. I could have both engines generated, but I'm not really using synthetic mechanics. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So I think it's in a weird spot. Would like to see them more, be more focused on archetypes and just like printing generic good stuff cards into the faction. Uh, so we've gotten Philip of Alibor. I guess we just play more bronzes. I don't think we need to push for card advantage that we can. The Orange isn't playing for that much. Now with Philip of Palamor gone, I can just long round, right? What am I worried about? Like, how is he dealing with the water? Little Arbalists. He's the mid-range deck. Sure. Some players got Woodland Sphere to save a card in profile. Oh, I have no idea. Does it let you pick leaders now? I guess did it let you pick leaders before? <laughs> yeah, generally the plan is to not let it get to round three. Wait, what?
Hawk A unit. Hmm, okay. Playing Thrives. Yep. Um, I think annoying him is more valuable than putting the shield on this with the Philippagon. There's no more random damage, right? Or like this might get him to play a second. Oh, he's not playing second curse, nice shoot. Am I get him to play his Pallor this turn? Yeah, they thrives. They're all thrives. Like a bigger one, I play a unit. Same thing. Punish much. Hmm. I wonder if he beats the o if he loses to the oak anyway. Why play around it? Just try to get the extra points. So you maybe you can beat something else. <laughs> 